Why is petroleum jelly, aka Vaseline, a staple in skincare routines? It's been around for about 150 years, and many of us remember seeing it in our mother's and our grandmother's medicine cabinets. But what exactly is it? And why is it so debated in skincare routines? In this video, I will dive into the ingredients behind petroleum jelly, its benefits, and potential downsides. Is it a miracle moisturizer or could it just clog your pores? Stay tuned as I share expert insight to help you decide if it truly is beneficial or if caution is needed. Petroleum jelly is a semi-solid mixture of mineral oil from a waxy petroleum material that is found on oil rigs and then it is distilled. The process of making petroleum jelly, aka Vaseline, it involves distillation of the petroleum and refining the petroleum jelly to remove any impurities and then optionally they can add fragrances or color to that. There are many crucial steps to ensure the quality and the purity and the effectiveness of the final petroleum jelly or AKA Vaseline product. The petroleum is a natural occurring fossil fuel that is extracted from the earth through the process known as oil drilling. According to a few dermatologists who state that Vaseline petroleum jelly is exclusive on the skin, meaning that it adds a protective barrier to the skin. But what it does do is it seals in the existing moisture that you have in your skin, but it does not add additional moisture to the skin, but it keeps the moisture that you have in your skin. But if you have a dry skin issue, it's not gonna change that issue because if it's an underlying issue of lack of moisture because of medication or other situations going on, Vaseline is not going to change that. But for me, there are so many other products. And to me, Vaseline is just too greasy on my skin. For me, the drawback of applying Vaseline petroleum jelly to your skin is that there is bacteria on all of our skin. And by placing the petroleum jelly or Vaseline on your skin, this locks in that existing bacteria on the skin. And this could make an irritated cut or broken skin more irritated. So if you have a compromised immune system, this could be an infection waiting to happen. When we have a shift in the balance in our skin, this is when bacteria and fungus begin to grow rapidly. But if you clean your skin properly, this would reduce that issue. For me, there are so many other products on the market that I can use that do all the same thing that a petroleum jelly does for your skin with less chemicals in their products. And for me, I choose a product that does not have a petroleum base, but the choice is yours. One of the products that I use is called Balmont's Salve. And this is a beeswax base, and it has several benefits for the skin, just like petroleum jelly. It retains moisture, it reduces inflammation. It has a uh, beeswax has vitamin A in it for your skin. And it does promote skin healing. Because beeswax is generally safe for most people. But like always, if you've not used something, make sure you do a patch test. But some people can have allergic reaction. It can clog your pores and it can irritate the skin just like anything. So check it out first and do a patch test. Another one is a baseline, 
with three simple clean ingredients, rapeseed oil, beeswax, wildflower honey, and it does everything petroleum jelly does for your skin. You can use it to remove makeup. It's good for eczema. It's good for dry skin, cracked heels, and it is delicate enough to use on your baby's skin. It's also good for your nose in the winter when it gets dry, and it's good for so much more. And I will put a link to that in the comments below. To summarize, the key points for me is to use the best products I can use on my skin and the clients that come to see me. And always be educated about what you are putting on your skin. And I understand both sides of the argument regarding petroleum jelly. It is an inexpensive product that can be used on the skin. And most doctors like it because of its ability to be occlusive to the skin and to give the skin a barrier so that it can heal. The other side is that it is a product that is made from petroleum. And yes, this is a product that comes from the earth and it is a natural occurring chemical. But the, there are better alternatives to put on our skin. Petroleum jelly is 150 years old. And I think that we have found some better products in 150 years that we can use on our skin. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and think about subscribing to my channel for videos that will encourage you, help you, and educate you. Check out my other skincare related videos. As an esthetician, I understand and I've been doing this a long time. I'm into more natural and I am trying to give you the best videos that give you the best products without all the undue chemicals. So if you have any experience with petroleum jelly that you would like to share in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you and thanks for watching and stay beautiful.